Let's start solving this problem by working out some of the geometry. Each marble has a radius r of 1 centimeter. The container has a width of 3 centimeters, so 3r. This tells us that the distance between the marble's centers is also 1r. And now we can draw a right triangle in red with the hypotenuse joining the two centers with a length of 2r. If we call this angle theta, we can solve for it and see that it equals 60 degrees. Now let's draw two free body diagrams and apply the conditions of equilibrium to solve parts A and B. First, a free body diagram for both marbles, and then one for just the top marble. The forces acting on the system of two marbles are the normal forces at A, B, and C, and the two weights, which act at the centers of mass, the center of each marble. For the top marble, the forces are the marble's weight acting at its center, the normal force at point C, and the contact force between the two marbles that acts along the line joining their centers. I'll call that the normal force N, and this is the same angle theta. Now let's come back to the free body diagram of both marbles and write out one condition of equilibrium, the sum of the forces in the vertical or y direction equaling zero. That gives us this expression, which tells us that the normal force at point B, the bottom of the container on the lower marble, equals twice the weight, which works out to 1.47 newtons. I'll record that result up here. Now if we instead sum forces in the horizontal or x direction, we see there are two telling us that the normal force on the left side at point A equals the normal force on the right side at point C. We don't know that value yet, but we can find it by applying the third condition of equilibrium, the sum of the torques equals zero. Here I'll sum torques about the center of the lower marble, we'll call that point O, and we'll let torques out of the screen be positive. Notice first that with these lines of action, none of the forces in the lower half of the free body diagram exert a torque about point O, so we just need to calculate the torque due to the two upper forces. Here's the R vector going from the pivot to the weight vector. If you put your right hand fingers in that direction and curl them down in the direction of the weight, you see the torque from that force is into the screen, which is our negative direction. It has a force of W, and a moment arm of r, the shortest distance between this line of action and the pivot, which the figure on the far right shows us is equal to the marble's radius, capital R. The other torque we need to find is the torque due to the normal force at point C. Here's its r vector, right hand fingers in that direction, and curled in the direction of the force, shows the right hand thumb points out of the screen, so that torque is positive, with a force of normal force at C, NC, and a moment arm of 2R sine theta. That's the shortest distance between this line of action and the pivot, the length of this vertical blue line. Comparing that blue line with the right triangle on the far right, we see that its length is 2R sine theta. We can cancel the R's and solve for the normal force at point C. It equals a marble's weight divided by twice sine of theta. Calculating this value shows us that the normal force at point C, also the normal force at point A, equals 0 0.424 newtons. Knowing these forces, we can now use the other free body diagram and solve for the contact force N between the two marbles, the force that one marble exerts on the other. I'll find it by summing forces in the horizontal or x direction and setting that equal to zero. So we have this component of that normal force, n cos theta, minus the normal force at point C equaling zero. Solve this for the normal force and calculate to find that it equals 0 0.848 newtons. 